Hey guys, it's a cloudy day today, but I'm just gonna go out for a while just to take a few of sample footages from this mount that I made. So I'm gonna do the running test with this one. Okay, three, two, one. Oh. oh man, there are people here. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> They're looking at me. Oh, what the? What is that guy doing? Huh? What is? What is he doing? Huh? Okay, I'll be here for a while. So I'm gonna be testing a um, low angle shot. I'm gonna be facing it upwards like this while holding it down. So the video is gonna be upside down. Yeah, but there's no way you're going to be able to pull this off like how you normally do because there's a bar over here so it's going to block this arm. So you're going to have to do what I just did. Or you can turn the mount upside down which is too cumbersome for most, even for me. So we just have to do this upside down and turn it back upside down in post. So low angle shots coming up. There we go. I think that's enough for a test. Then I'm just gonna move it down like this and gently pull it back up. So now it's in the same orientation as before. Boom shots, well you're just gonna have to race it out real high with using the tripod. Well let me say something to you guys. A lot of people out there they're all testing their gimbals like doing stuff like this, this in the actual setting. You won't be doing something like that. You won't be shaking your <coughs> gimbal like this, right? Its purpose is to stabilize the video. And what are you? If you're holding the camera, then you won't be holding it like this. What the f man? It's, I think the better idea is to put it in a motion, like in a circular motion, like this. Let me show you. So the camera is heavy, right? And there, there are weights right here and right here. So if I'm gonna spin, this whole setup like this, you see, you see, I think it's better to test it like this, how it holds up in the motion. Because if a gimbal isn't properly um, set up for a camera, then it's probably gonna, you know, little by little um, point upwards or point elsewhere because of the centrifugal force. So, well, in actual situation, you're probably gonna be uh, holding your camera in a gimbal. Riding a, what do you call that in the playground? The one, the one that goes round and round and round. Well, that's gonna affect the stabilization. But holding it like this and doing stuff like this isn't a real test for me. I don't know what you think, guys. Actually, it's up to you. But it's not practical to use it like that. You're not gonna be using it like that anyway when you're taking some footages. I think the trick here is. You know, pulling some focus while you're moving the camera at the same time. That's the real challenge. This camera setup, Lumix, and this mount is a lot heavier than what this gimbal can actually handle. It's actually a lot heavier than what it's made for, so we're pushing it really far to the limits right now. The weak spots here will be this motor over here. The top side, as you can see, the aluminum metal build. It's a little bit stressed, you know, it's poking a little bit open on this side than the other because of the weight. Well, if you're gonna put a heavier camera over here, definitely it's gonna ruin the thing, but, but now it's okay. It's working fine. The best thing actually would be, you're just gonna have to buy a gimbal for a mirrorless camera. But you know, for all you guys who are in a tight budget, then this is an alternative. It's just an alternative, but it's not the first choice. So, these are my test footages, and I hope you'll find them useful. And see you guys next time. Peace.